you know, Bakasura got the point. He got the point to stay away from me this game. And I just have a massive lead over him. 12 levels to 8. And right here is pretty funny. This is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> He's just watching me take his buff. Sneeze here. We're gonna go ahead and play as Nemesis in the jungle. Um, we have we have a solid lineup, a really solid lineup. Um, but I've been seeing this a lot. Only one magical and four physical um, in these league games. Um, physical gods are really favored. Um, the opposing team has two magical and three physical. Um, but yeah, I banned Thanatos and uh, Lur. You know, um, my opponent. Ban Zeus and skipped his first actually. He skipped his first and then he banned Zeus. Or maybe he was he wanted to uh, get the Poseidon in, but who knows these days. So I'll be going up against Bakasur in the jungle. Minions have spawned. Hey what's up guys? Sneeze here. We're gonna go ahead and jungle as Nemesis. Uh, right here is just the typical, very, very typical. We'll be uh, coming from the top of the map, and the enemy team will be on the blue side of the map. Now, as jungler, I'm supposed to grab this speed buff, um, but this Loki had it in his mind that he was jungling, um, which just, it wasn't the case. It wasn't the case at all. Um, and the reason I grabbed this blue buff is because I'd rather have a buff than no buff. Um, but, you know, my team my team backs me up and uh, lets him know that he's solo lane. But anyways, my whole entire role as being a jungler is getting kills. Kills, 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 kills. It's all about kills. And uh, in this game, I get I get a fair amount. Um, the reason why I'm on this side of the map is because if you get a chance to take away uh, the enemy, the opposing jungler's experience and gold, uh, you definitely have to do it. You definitely, definitely have to do it. Um, the reason why he's level 3 and I'm level 2 is because he got his red buff and he got the blue buff. And uh, that just gives him more experience than... Well, I'm not too sure why. Oh, yeah, it's, it's because he stayed in lane in the solo lane and got the, uh, the additional, the additional experience. Um, so right now, I'm just lurking around. I decide to go for his speed buff while he's busy in the mid lane. Ra's doing a great job keeping uh, Bakasura busy. Um, Poseidon went back to base. And this is just another heads up play. You know, I'm just taking that much more gold and that much more experience away from him. Because eventually his red buff is gonna is gonna wear out. So he's gonna wanna get his speed buff. So now I just took that off of off of the map from um, from him. Your left tower. So I decide to rotate mid, and this is just a really a really poor poor decision by this uh, Poseidon. He's very aggressive, low health. Um, you can't you can't be that far up uh, that low health and have an opposing nemesis um, nearby. Now, one thing I don't know if Bakasura told the Poseidon or not uh, that I was incoming mid, but uh, by the looks of it, I don't think Bakasura did communicate well. This Raw did just a really really good job in mid lane, just baiting the Poseidon because Poseidon was very very aggressive. Um, so it looks like this Bakasura is on my side of the map, um, you know, because I pretty much took, I took everything from him. Um, so he's over here getting my small gold camp. One thing I should have done was I should have focused a little bit more on the mid harpies. Um, but because the raw on my team is doing such a great job um, defending those, those mid harpies, that it really wasn't that big of an issue. And on top of that, uh, our son Wukong did a really, really amazing job uh, rotating mid. Again, Nemesis is just too good. She's too good for Poseidon to be that far up on our side of the map. I don't like this field of view. Yeah, 
Meek and Sun Wukong rotating mid. Um, really good job. Really, really good job. Let's go back to me. Um, because of those archers, the archers saw me, so Poseidon decides to go back. Um, and this is what you want to do as a jungler, you know. You want to help out your mid lane, and you just want that presence, you know. I want I want Poseidon to think. I, I want Poseidon to think every single time when he's in the mid lane that I'm nearby, you know. With that sheer presence, that just, that mind, that messes up his whole thought process, you know. I just leech a little bit bit of experience off of, the, uh, off of the boot camp from those guys. Um, because if you're jungling, you don't have the waves and waves and waves of minions just coming coming uh, towards you. And again, Poseidon is just way out of position. Way out of position. Why he's so aggressive, I have no idea. Ra got the snipe on him. Um, and I'm okay with that, you know, um, that's, that's just, uh, that's a kill for him, you know. Um, so right now, we're up three kills to no kills, uh, three kills to zero kills, sorry. So I see that, uh, dual lanes having a tough time, I rotate, um, Your right there's really nothing I can attack. do. There's really nothing I can do. Um, I think the shot gets away. My ultimate can't slow him down enough. And with his ultimate, he gets additional movement speed um, when it's activated. So he's just he's just that much faster. Um, my team did a really good job pinging right there, letting me know that there's enemies nearby. And like I said, the Sun Wukong and Neek did a really good job in dual lane. Really did a really good job um, keeping the Hades and the Shibalanke under control. Um, but then again, you know, Shibalanke's late game is just... It's so ridiculous. Regardless, um, so let's go back to me. Your left tower is under attack. So it looks like I I rotate over to solo lane. Um, but I don't pay that much attention to solo lane. Um, I pay attention to the Poseidon. I pay attention to the Bakasura. Those are the two main people that I'm focusing on. Um, Loki really just didn't do a good job keeping Chalk under control. Because Chalk right now, as you can see, is level 10. Uh, the highest level in the game, so Loki's just letting him farm. Um, but Loki versus Chalk in the in the solo lane early game, that's in favor of Loki. It's absolutely in favor of uh, Loki. So I see Chalk. I wanted to get some damage on him before he teleported in, but it was too late. Um, I want to catch people off guard right here, but. There's just too many enemies, so I decided to shift my focus to Bakasur, and I just have to get him. Um, So I look for his red buff, his red buff's down. I look for the blue buff, the blue buff is down. I decide oh, to help out um, and attack. put some damage on this tower. But yeah, like I said, you know, Loki, Loki versus Chalk early game. I mean, it's in favor. It's absolutely in favor of Loki. Um, late game, late game, uh, Chalk late game is just ridiculous, you know? So it's very important to early on put the pressure on Chalk. And make sure you have the the upper advantage, you know, going going into the late stages of the game. So 
So I see that boxer. He's he's creeping on my side of the jungle. I'm gonna make him pay. I'm gonna absolutely make him pay. So again, I'm on their side of the map. I decide to uh, try to gank this chalk, but he's at the point right now where chalk is just, you know, he's chalk. <laughs> you, you just can't put any damage on him. Once he gets those, those health items, those protection items, he's impossible, impossible to kill. Um, I know the, I know the Loki is playing really passive right now because there's nothing much to do my dash up so I know I can get out I can avoid death um, uh, yesterday I did nothing but absolutely nothing but nemesis games um, because I was in a lobby I was top elo and we had the opportunity to get a nemesis and I'm like wait I don't have nemesis master yet so all of yesterday I did uh, nothing but nemesis um, and in that time I under I uh, what's the words I'm looking for I, I found out about Nemesis and what makes Nemesis tick and she can she can be really low health and just get away um, and that's why she's favored and always banned all the time um, so it looks like Raw's trying to gank Chalk too um, but there's really again there's really nothing you can do against Chalk um, Your left tower he can't attack. be killed well he, later stages of the game you're gonna see him get killed Get that, get that box of syrup. And the reason I was so aggressive uh, towards that box of syrup was because he used his jump. He leaped in. He leaped in. And, uh, that took away his 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 opportunity to escape. Am I able to get there? Okay, yeah. I'm able to. Uh, Take a look at Shablanke. This is just a better uh, field of vision. Um, I was able to kill that Hades, but Shablanke's poison darts is just too strong. I think he was putting a bunch of ranks into it. That's why it was so potent. And that's what I like to do too. I like to max out um, Shablanke's poison darts and then do the uh, Rising Jaguar. I'm not a big fan in the bre uh, branching bola unless I have like an item that's actually we can take a look at his items right now Yeah, he doesn't have much Much. Yeah, so there's no point in getting branching bola If you don't have any mana items Because look at look at that it just used up all his mana If your shibalanke um, Devours is it devours gloves that also gives you I know it gives you um, life steal, but I'm not too sure if it gives you mana too. So uh, looks like I'm back in the game, right? So let's take a look. Um, we're gonna save that blue buff. I'm gonna try to Your put some damage on Chalk right attack. here, um, but again, he's just too strong. He's too strong. I had no idea Loki was gonna be over there. I would have tanked for a little bit longer, but. Chalk's just too strong, you know. The fact that he can withstand a nemesis and a Loki, it just shows you how strong Chalk can be. I'll use your powers against Here comes Bakasura. Your right tower is under and I get away right here. I get away right here because my dash is gonna come up and the fact that I have the speed jungle buff. So I decide to get this for Loki. This is about to come back in. Get the heal from from Roth. And it looks like I'm gonna go back into uh try to get chalk note. I go back into mid lane, it looks like. Your left tower is under <clears throat> Try to get this uh this Bakasura, but you know Bakasura got the point. He got the point to stay away from me this game. And I just have a massive lead over him, 12 levels to 8. And right here is pretty funny. This is absolutely hilarious. 
<laughs> He's just watching me take his buff. <laughs> I got level 13 off of that. Um, so I was doing a really good job right there. Just keeping him from getting experience. Done from uh, Shablanke's ultimate. Bunkasir is coming in, but I really don't care about him. He's not going to do any type of damage to me. Uh, my speed buff just wore off. Shablanke was able to get back to spawn. Um, and I'm just sticking around, seeing if I can catch anyone out of position. Um, catch them low health. But because he popped his ultimate, I, I decided to retreat. Um, Neat does Close a good job right left. here. Really good job being able to escape uh, Shibalonke right there. And uh, giving me enough time to to back. So like I said, Neath and Shibalonke, uh, Sun Wukong did a really good job. Oh, that's too bad. I'm rotating Your to the right mid. Tower is under attack. Mid harpies right here. So far it's looking Your good. Your team has destroyed a left enemy tower. I'm able to keep up with Raw. He's our mid laner. Uh, gold wise. Um, he has like 200. 200. Um, gold advantage over me. Your middle tower is under attack. They did a good job uh, telling us that Hades was going to be incoming. Uh, because I have my dash up, really, I don't, I don't fear. I don't fear any of these guys. Team fight right there. Your middle it's a really bad team attack. fight, and uh, a little bit of a late rotation by uh, Loki. Loki definitely could have cleaned up. He definitely could have had like two. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Your middle tower is under attack. Let's go back to this uh, field of vision right here. <clears throat> And uh, right here, I decide not to go after the harpies. Uh, and this is what Loki should have done. Target the weak guys. And that's, that's pretty much it, man. You just clean up just like that, you know. Um, take advantage of him being way too aggressive. Um, because I have the Boomba's mask, I'm able to fight these uh, this gold camp right here. Let's just go over the Boomba's Mask really quickly. Um, it gives me plus 30 health, which isn't anything to cheer about. <laughs> but it's passive. It's all about Boomba's Mask passive. When in the jungle, you gain 15 mana per second. You are also healed for 10% of the, any jungle camp monster's max health. If you have an ally nearby, you get the normal gold reward because if you were solo. So right here, I'm just getting the blue buff for Loki. So let's go. Where's all the action? Ooh, it looks like they're circling. They're definitely circling this Loki. That's crazy. Shiblanke went all the way to solo lane. <laughs> That's crazy. That's good. You know, alt to get out. That's really good. Where am I?
Did I, uh, I think I just got a kill. I think I killed, um, Sidon. Yeah, because my dash is up, I'm really not worried. Not worried at all. I'm able to just walk away. Oh, yeah. The Shibawanki poison darts really hurt. Really, really hurt. Let's see, where is everybody? I think I typed in um, enemies incoming uh, to Shibalon, uh, to Sun Wukong. Right and he's attack. able to get out of there. That was a good job. Put a lot of damage on that tower. So let's talk about my build. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but I, I, I didn't start the game with um, Potion of Physical Might. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. It costs 400 gold. Um, I'd rather get tier 1 shoes or boots than, than get the, uh, the Potion of Physical Might. I popped the Sprint because I wanted to gank uh, solo lane. Um, because Chalk was out of position, but it was, uh, it was too late. He backed already. Um, so I decided to farm, farm solo lane right here. And I think I fight, I think I fight Chalk, but, you know, I understand he's level 18 right now. And there's just no way I'm going to be able to be able to kill him. I caught my three. Yeah, I know he's going to hold right away. I didn't expect. I knew he was going to ult right there. Um, but yeah, there's really nothing I can do. in so yeah no no potion of physical might to start off the game for me um going with heart secret really worried about stacks it's all about killing minions um, getting my stacks up to 50 uh, the executioner is actually a really good item because it's cheap one it's cheap Two, it gives you physical additional power, and this is just a mistake by deciding. Why would he do this? <laughs> Why did he really think he was going to be able to kill me and me? <laughs> this, is just, uh, this is just a bad idea by deciding. Uh, maybe he didn't see me, thought he would be able to kill me. Sun Wukong doing a great job um, escaping Chalk and Bakusura. Again, I know I can't kill Chalk, but I can definitely kill this Bakusura right here. Good ultimate by, by Neath right there. And I get the Blizzard. Chalk focusing me. But my teammates do a really good job. I back up a little bit because of Hades. I don't know if Hades is the ultimate sub. Oh, speak of the devil. Use his ultimate. And we destroy the tower. I hit my three right there to prevent uh, damage. I popped the sprint um, because killing this Hades is a, uh, is a possibility right here. Back up. 
hit the dash, uh, let my teammates kill this Hades. Um, step in the heel and then back. You definitely want to do this because you don't know if any enemies around can jump over walls or do any of that funny business. Uh, and you just give away a free, easy kill. Oh, uh, this is a really, really good job by this Loki. Um, what he did there was he let the Gold Fury take the uh, side and down. Um, and he sees that I'm coming. He decides to stay. And we take the Gold Fury together. Uh, really good heads up play right there by Loki. Right here, I'm taking uh, Vakasura's speed buff right here. <clears throat> At this point of the game, you know, um, it's our game to lose. Nowhere for Vakasura to go. I'll engage right here. I'll engage on this top. Comes over. Um, Your right tower is under attack. Oh, I thought that was a raw snipe. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Me and raw. I'm able to get away, but raw not able to get away. Your middle tower I decided right here to be aggressive because Neath is here, um, and they F6. Uh, as a team, we went 23 kills, 11 deaths. Again, everyone, everyone had a really good game. 